Welcome, lovers of Warhammer 40,000. We're playing as the Necrons. We're playing Gladius. My name is Daz Tactic. Welcome to the channel. This is episode two. Uh, we've done an initial expansion, which has been quite effective. We've sort of gone south, and uh, we found ourselves like a big lake in through here. There should be another faction down in here somewhere. Uh, so we'll be sort of close to the border. We found ourselves our second Necron tomb, which is, and we're going to be building a Canaptech spider to go and claim that one. I would have liked something a bit closer to home. Uh, what I'm just going to do is I'm just going to go and start claiming a few of these territories now. We won't go any further south. Interesting choke points all the way through here, actually, which is um, it's quite an interesting map uh, with what we actually have. I won't bother attacking that. I'll just skip that unit, end our turn. Yeah, these Sinunan. Now, I don't really want to go up against these. Um, they... Here they come. Once you attack one of them, they come after you. Now I'm going to run from them. I'm not. I can take them on, but in one sense, I want to. Whatever is down below, I want to have these as a bit of a block to protect our our areas because they can't take anything on the ground anyway. So I'm going to move up into the forest. And we'll just sort of slowly move our way around up into this part of the map. And our turn. Actually, once we get this established, I will see if there's another location. It's not not the worst, but it's not the best either. Midfront hybrids back in through here. couple of overwatches, that's really damaged them a lot, so we'll be able to finish them off this next turn. Move through this volcanic forest. Right, so I still want to go this way, get the Baroque Shrine, that is important. We are moving very quickly through the through the um, the tech tree. I do like this location for a city. I mean it's it's been open in through here, but it's um you know it's I think we can still protect it if we can get it big enough. Damn it, they're still coming after us. Yeah, once you attack one of them. They do not relent. I will still keep on moving up and away. And I'm going to keep them where they are. units. Yep, they can't take any of these, so we're sort of fairly safe. through there um, there's another ne Necron tomb there this one's going to give us a lot of ore so I'm going to go that way once we actually now in, in, with, in speaking of which, we can now go and start to build um, infantry. So we'll go and grab the Canaptech Spider, which is going to cost me 30... I've got 152 energy. Building the city is going to cost me a lot of, of that as well. It's going to be five turns to get that one. Let's go back and get ourselves another ore mine, and that's another 30 that comes off the, off the, uh, off the amounts. Ore is just so vitally important. In fact, I'm probably going to have better... Actually, no, I've got energy there as well. 
I built the second ore mine. I'm going to need a lot of ore mines. So we'll make this our second city. And we'll make that our third city, I think. Now they're Chaos Cultists. These are different again. These are uh, the, the Neophyte Hybrids have had a range of two and very similar sort of unit to what we actually have. These guys have got an auto pistol with, with range one, which is their ranged attack. And they also have a close combat weapon. And so we need to do a lot of damage against these. Um, I'm gonna swing down this way. It'll get reaction fire with the auto pistol, which won't do a hell of a lot of damage because we're in the forest. Uh, but we want to do as much damage here as we can possibly do. It now doesn't have any more action points, and I can now move this one in to then get the kill. So there's another one there. They'll come back down and attack this unit next. And we just leveled up. So one experience, level up for both of our units. We're now level three. So we'll end our turn there. That's interesting. This artifact over here is another one of these that is going to then give us a bit of a boost along with uh, more of the loyalty. Uh, if I can get a third one of those, it'll be like having a free city because <laughs> uh, each city takes up six loyalty. It used to be that you used to get the six from that, but it was just overpowered. Um, I'm going to send one back this way. One in here. Let's go and claim that. Now, we've got different units that will start to wander back in around and try to sort of uh, do damage. This one will probably come back into here, I would guess. Now, I don't actually have reaction fire. I'll just choose research. Heavy destroyers is probably... Now, I'm now starting to sort of think, um, actually, the, the preliminary excavation. Let's just go that way. Let's really focus. We're focusing very heavily on, on our development. And so we'll keep on going that way. We'll end our turn. Now we'll start to build our army when we need to, which will be fairly soon. But the heavy destroyers are a unit that I do want to be getting. Here they come. And they're going to do a lot of damage as well. Oh, they didn't. I'm going to stay in this fight. Let me do two damage there. Now we do actually have, we're right next to the, the thing and we're gonna be losing morale, which I don't want that to happen. So I'm just gonna go across and open this up, this thing to come back in. I just need to get rid of these other, other units around here. <clears throat> Ordering the city back into here. We've now got, we're still waiting two more turns before we get the Canop Tech Spider. Um, I can keep on building more things in here. I am thinking back at this location here. Well, actually, we're at five now, so we need to make sure that we can keep on building bigger, a bigger city. So let's go back into the shelters because our our loyalty is quite strong with having those two artifacts. So we don't need to really worry too much about those. Uh, we'll exit the city and end our turn. They've taken that one back, which is fine. It now gives us a bit of a free reign against this particular unit, just for a couple of turns. No other faction you could do this with. You couldn't afford to take on a, an enslaver with just two units, but the Necrons you can. Now, if it stays in the fight, which it may do, um, then we're going to have an advantage. We, that we should be able to then finish it off. Although our morale will take a hit, which will then sort of reduce our effectiveness. What's it doing? No, it, it ran. Okay, it ran. Take that one back again. Fruit house. 
Actually, I possibly could have finished off the other one there. There's a can of tech spider. Let's go and move over. Let's get rid of a little bit of this wire weed as well while we're here. We might as well do this. Just to give ourselves a, a pathway through. Water cities. Um, now, as far as the different units are concerned, I'm going to get myself a flayed one. So I'll get myself a little bit of extras now coming back on through. And um, I could get myself another production building at some point, but I'm really in no rush because it's going to be chewing up energy every time, I, every time I try to construct a unit. So until I get on top of my energy and my ore, I'm in no rush to build an army. Let's just end our turn there. There, yeah, they're all moving off. Now he's moved off up to there. The crew towns have moved in. They're going to do some damage to us. But we're back to five units. We'll kill off these crew towns. And the big attack. There's another Necron tomb up there as well. Now we're going to get this done before turn 30, which is really, really good going to get our second city. Getting a second city, no matter which faction, is usually a very important um, thing that you try to aim for. The third city can be quite a problem because of the loyalty hit that you take, but the second city will really bolster all of these things up a lot. And this is a great location for that second city. This one up through here as well, with the, vol the Volcanic is good for the Necrons. But I don't mind this area. 40% or ore in there, which is fantastic. 40% in there as well. Yeah, this is all good. This is all very, very good. We'll end our turn there. Um, now yeah, it's sort of one of these things where we just want to just get just enough we've been lucky I think with, with the layout of the water it sort of kept a lot of the other units away now we've got this one here where we can do a lot of damage let's just do that and then we'll move this one up in fact I don't need to go I'll be able to kill it by just moving to here These things will be against us because we did that damage to them before, like in the south. Choose the research. Okay, at this point in time, I do want to get heavy destroyers. These are great against armor. And so if we do have anything, that's going to be where we want to be. So let's go that way. We'll end our turn. Now, hopefully we've got enough here to be able to build this city. I think we'll have enough. I think it's 50 to build, to establish a city. So the Cursed Lands, that's a good, that's an appropriate name for our, um, for the lands that we actually have. Yep, more Sinunan down here. Now I'm just going to go back found the city it's 40 okay 40 plus 40 influence so not a problem there's a new city and at this location we do end up with the uh, what do we have underneath here Oops, where are we we have a little bit of energy boost 10% um, energy is pretty much everywhere we're getting plus 25 now plus 20 ore. I'm gonna start focusing on the ore again so let's just get an ore mine built in through here. So we've got two, we've got good locations for ore all the way around us. Actually, not so much over there. Only 20% there. So I'll use that for building other things. But this is where I'll build the, the ore mine. Um, <clears throat> now let's swing back around again. I don't want to go too close into the middle of the map. More sting wings back over there. And I won't attack them, just in case they come closer. OK, 
got research down in, in that location. We've got production down in here. Make that the third, the third location. Just keep on scouting around our, our city. Uh, there's another Necron tomb up the top there. More research locations in around that one there. Water cities. Right. One more turn, we get the flayed ones. Um, our loyalty is down to one, so I do need to get a, like, a loyalty building at some point, so let's go and grab that one now. Exit city, and we'll end our turn. You can see our, our energy has now come back a fair way. And if we get a third city, which I do want to get fairly early, just so we can get the so we can get the growth from it, uh, we're going to need to get loyalty buildings in here as well. Okay, now these I'll take the I'll take the hit. Ah, now this is interesting. These came in with the latest uh, DLC. These are Cybernetica data smiths, and these look after Castellan robots. So there's going to be some, some robots in around here. These used to be tech priest engine seers from the Astra Militarum, but they've now gone and they've been replaced with these units. Very, very cool units. And they can take over Castellan robots. If you see them, you're going to find robots. So that's a bit of a problem. Let's just go this way. I'm also looking at their health just to see if they've actually met any of the other AIs just yet. Here we go, we've got the flayed ones. Now the flayed ones, I'll just get them out in the open and have a bit of a look at these ones. So there's, uh, it's saying there's only five, I thought actually maybe it's two claws. I thought we had ten units. We have ten, we have um, uh, two damage but we have one attack times ten. But there's only, it's only showing five, that's surprising. Um, I thought we'd have, I thought we'd have ten units in there. So anyway, we've got the, they will, they've got an ability of being able to infiltrate like the crew towns and they just have like a melee attack and they shred. So they'll sort of just support the other units we have. Again, armor six, six hit, uh, 15 hit points, very similar to the other, other group that we actually have there. Uh, order cities back in through this side. I will actually change where we offload the city. Actually, if I just go back into here and we'll, we'll have it so that it does move out this way. So that the, they'll spawn into that location. Uh, and the city itself. Now I've got one of those. I'm gonna grab myself an immortal. My up my ore is fine at this stage. I could go and get that third city up and running very, very quickly. You know, I might do that. We've just got to get on top of the energy by the time we do this one. We don't there's no screaming rush for us to have an army at this point in time. That's going to cost me another 30. So it's, it's cost me a lot of energy each time. I, I do need to get an energy building in here. We'll just get this on really on top of the ore, though. The more our ore I can get in the early part of the game, the, the more I'm going to have stored up for the latter part. Here they come. Here they come. Now... That's going to be hard for us to take on, so I'm going to. I need exactly these heavy destroyers to take on the Castellan robots. So uh, they, these are armed with oversized gauze cannons. Heavy destroyers send uh, blazing energy blasts searing across the battlefield. These heavily uh, armed adherents of the destroyer cult glide across scorched earth here, blah, blah, blah. They, they've got an incredibly strong. Uh, this heavy gauze cannon does eight damage with six armor penetration. Uh, there's, they've got any, there's two of them in the stack, and they do this one attack essentially that, go, that goes in. So they can't. They have to find single big units to take them on, and that's really what this. That's what. That's exactly what we need against the Castellan robots. So these guys aren't going to do the damage. They're not going to be good enough. So I'm going to leave them where they are. We're going to combine these back up again. Let's just wander up this way. See what else there is. We'll leave leave those where they were. 
Now the crew towns, if they're the only things that come through this way, I will attack them because they they have an ability to uh, to not trigger our our Overwatch. Choosing research now, I can start to go back into here, get like extra infantry armor, which will just give me one extra bolster of of armor. Um, but I'm thinking I might now start to go back and get the ones that we were missing. So things, for example, like the Hippostyle Temple, we'll build that in the second city. End our turn. So it'll be interesting to see if they do come any further south or if they're just going to sort of stay where they are. Yeah, so we, we don't get the overwatch. Yeah, they've wandered back up into the forest there. Now I'll be able to kill off these these crew towns. So we've now got the hippo style temple. So we can kill him off with this unit, so I'll do that. Which will then leave this unit to go and claim the, the outpost. And that's going to give me another two energy per turn, which would be nice. Very nice. Now, there's nothing much down that way that we need to worry ourselves with, so let's just move up and we'll move back across again. Maybe sort of claim this if we can before the robots get too close and then sort of fan back out of, around where this other city actually is. We'll choose our research. Now, the Royal Pyramid we're going to need as well. The Dimensional Corridor. This is something that we could grab at this early stage as well, but I think I'll grab the, the Royal Pyramid. Or even the Annihilation Barge. No, we'll do that one later. Now, as our population improve, increases, this author that also then chews up the um, the ore as well. So the ore, we really don't have enough ore at all. <laughs> ore energy. We've got to really focus on that. Here's more crew towns. They've reclaimed this. Now that's going to impact our loyalty. Our loyalty will go down by two. I do need to come back and, and finish these off. Yeah, Castellan robots still far enough away that it won't be able to do anything to us. They've got a range of two. Flayed ones, let's go in with the attack. I won't do anything there, I'm gonna leave that one where that is, and in turn. We're losing a few things over here, but we'll be back down this way fairly quickly. We've got the Royal Pyramid as well. So we need to get energy. Uh, actually, we're, we're sort of okay again with energy, but... Um, I'm going to need, now, if we get the Hippostyle Temple, that one does give us another two energy anyway. And then the uh, Royal Pyramid gives us influence. We, all of them give us extra loyalty when we build these cities. We build, build these buildings. Let's go and uh, claim, in that case, we'll go with a plus 10%. Yeah, let's go that way. Choose the research, dimensional corridor. Can it then allow us to, to, to teleport between cities and monoliths? It's not something that I really need. Production output of summoning cores would be useful. The, um, yeah, you don't need those. I mean, the, the tomb blades, we could start to sort of build from the Hippostyle Temple, the tomb blades, but this is sort of expensive to have, like to, to be wasting research on on shield on tomb blades is not really worth it let's go back and get the extra infantry armor we're going to have a lot of infantry so 
one of the things with the Necrons as well. Like the the vehicles are great, but our our infantry does sort of cover all bases as well. Once we get the heavy destroyers, we get a little bit of everything. Their health is still strong, which is good to see. There's the third city. Now these are, um, are they skimmers? No, they're not. I mean, no great rush to go and claim these locations. This one here is going to give me a lot more ore. This one over here would give me research predominantly. And this one down here, production and a little bit of ore. Um, I like the idea of being out here, to be honest. So let's move up. And we'll just get rid of some of this wire weed again while we move through. I mean, I could sit around and just sort of collect everything and sort of um, get, you know, get rid of the wire weed in from the areas that we do want to ultimately be building. Getting that third city is not critical. I mean, we've done incredibly well to get the second city up before this time. Like this is about the time that you want to be aiming for, around about turn 35 to have the second city established. But we're well and truly ahead of that. Order cities, sorry, order units, we'll just go this way. Here we want to we do ultimately want to get another summoning core at this location. Uh, we'll go and build in here. I think actually the summoning core does give us the uh, where is it? Summoning core. Yeah, we do get extra research there. Is that what we want? Where we want to be? I can get ten percent or sorry, ten percent energy there. I might go that way actually and just get an energy building over that location. And as far as building, I will go and start to now get things like the heavy destroyers. We want to be really, really on top of this re of this um, uh, resources. It's super important that we that we have a lot of this. and the capacity to build big armies fairly quickly. Now that one can't actually attack that. There's no attack going in that way, so I'll just I'll just go and claim that. I need this one away from the cliffs to be able to then do the damage. But we can still move in this way and hit this thing from, from below. Or from the cliffs. Well it is below. We're from, we're from the top. It's now gonna run. We go back across the water again. Order City, so back over through this side, we were going to be building ourselves another energy location. Actually, I do need to get loyalty at some stage. Uh, in terms of building, I might clear that out with this unit before we go and claim that area over there. Let's go and build a loyalty building in here. We just want to make sure that we stay positive with the loyalty. Yep, too far away for us now. We 
we'll get rid of this as well. As I say, there's no rush for us to get our third city. More units. Great choke point here. Not that it'll be used much. We're just going to get another energy building over that way. We're going to stay in the fight there. Oh, here comes another one coming in behind us. Now we're down a little way, but we're going to be getting another plus two this turn. Plus we then have these guys that can then start to come in and we should be able to wipe this one out fairly fairly readily. exposed so we can get another ore mine in there if we wanted to. <clears throat> Alright, that'll do. We'll end our turn. We're staying in the fight. It's good for us. So our armour has now just gone up from 6 to 7. Search. Um, that's increase the healing of living metal. Yeah, this one. If we just click on OK for a second, that's a reanimation protocols. So living metal is something we have with our vehicles, which we're not going to worry about just yet. Um, that as such. Increase the armor penetration of gauze weapons. This will be useful. Uh, we're going to be wanting to get some heroes. We've got, we want to get an, 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 this is an anti-infantry vehicle unit. This is actually a good one. I think I might grab that one, the Annihilation Barge. Let's go back for that. We'll start to build, um, we'll start to build some vehicles from in here. We'll specialize the city on vehicles. Oh, miles out of time, guys. So I'm going to have to uh, wind this one up. We'll just wait for the AI to finish their turn. That one will run for it. There's more coming. Got rid of one of them. Move on out. So we want to be within three. So one, two, three, that one gets it. This one doesn't. So I'm just going to move that one back into there. It still gives me an attack that way. Here where we will build ourselves another city at this location. Now that's the third city. Our loyalty will now be really, really struggling. Uh, the city amounts we're getting negative twelve from city amounts. So if we did, if we didn't have both of these, in fact, do we have that one? Yeah, we still got that, that one there. So without those two, this would be very, very difficult to con to control the the loyalty. You can see, in fact, you can see there that this one is now struggling. Um, 
That one can't do anything else. This one here, we can wipe out these crew towns. And we don't want any more cities, really, into, unless we can get really on top of the, the loyalty by, by a, a large, large factor. And then it would be viable getting a fourth city. But getting these cities early like this is, is going to allow them to grow and uh, be quite strong by the time we sort of really get into the middle of the game. Having three cities before turn 40 is really exceptionally good. But each city, as I say, does impact our loyalty by quite a big amount. Um, now, I don't have the energy to build what we require, so we'll just go and acquire a tile. I think I'll just go out this way. Ah, oh, I've ended the turn again. <laughs> well. Here we go. Here we go. All right, guys, going to leave it there. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next episode.